on the drift. <laughs> Gonna be a big week for us. So we're up in Texas flat today gathering cows that we've had up here and we're taking them down to a school section over here where we are gonna get them ready to be shipped out so closer to a corral and uh, again we're gathering cows this all week and just shipping we'll be shipping towards the end of the week so it's a big week for us a busy week ought to be fun today we've got a good crew with us uh, Trayson and Akea my niece is here from Las Vegas and we've got Wayne and Quinn and Cody and Michael and so we got a good crew to get these cows out of here today uh, this is big country up here and it'll be a little bit tricky getting them out so uh, we hope we find them all but that's what we're doing today should be a good day should be a good week so hope you enjoy the video Wow, look what Tracen just found. Okay, we're not done. Lucky. Check this out. That Still one. not done. Check this out. So that's a set. Okay, well, we got most of the cows gathered here, but we're missing nine or ten. So we're kind of holding them up, and we got a bunch of guys went back uh, to re ride. So that's what we're doing re riding and trying to find them before we head off here. So that's what's happening.
found him, got him roped, and we'll load him up and take him down the rest. It was a good day. Got the cows where they needed to be. Got them all found, which was a little bit tough. They were in all the holes and pockets, but got them where they need to be, and we'll be back at it again tomorrow. So it should be good. Well, we uh, finally kind of got all the cows situated where they need to be and we're ready to start shipping. And so today we are out on uh, newly gathering cows and getting them put in the corral. We'll start shipping them, trucking them in the morning. So that's kind of a big day. Kind of cool to be out here and to be at that point. So just shipping cows is not as easy as it seems. Uh, it's actually kind of hard. and we have to really work at it because we got to make sure all these cows are paired up right uh, before we send them over there. You can't send them over there and then have them get over there and not be paired up right. Then you, you'll end up dogging calves and things like that. So we'll work at it pretty hard. And uh, we've kind of got things in place to where it'll make it our job a little bit easier getting them paired up, but that's what we'll be doing today. And we're gonna put uh, some loads in the corral today and uh, then ship in the morning and then put more loads in tomorrow afternoon. So anyway, that's what we're doing. Ought to be a, a good few days. <laughs>
All right, got everything corralled. We are ready for tomorrow. Ready to ship in the morning. Right, good morning. Well, we got the first two two truckloads out and gone, and now we're putting in the next two that'll be shipped out this afternoon. So we've got a lot of cows together up here and a lot of corral work to do. So that's what we're we're doing now. So anyway, it ought to be a good day. It was good to see the trucks uh, leaving the corral. Just wanted to talk real quick about the blue horse. Um, he comes to us from Sandy Caruso out of Richfield, Utah, as you guys know. And um, he's three years old. He's got lots of potential, super well put together. I don't think you'll find a much prettier horse than this one here. Um, but we've had him out a couple times since he got here and he's just been pretty impatient. Um, I wouldn't say he's hot, but just a lot of energy, lots of push, lots of go, kind of got his head in the air. Um, but just needs a job, needs lots of miles. And uh, today me and him did about 20 miles. And we dog trotted a lot of those miles, just covering country and picking cows out of holes here and there. And he started the day with a lot of energy and kind of with his head in the air. And uh, it was fun to watch because about halfway through the day, um, he just kind of lowered his head, uh, just relaxed, and just decided he was going to go to work. Um, I just think it goes to show that a horse needs a job. And when they figure their job out, they kind of relax, they kind of settle in. And... Um, it was really, really fun to watch this horse kind of figure that out. Um, as you see in the videos, he's pretty level-headed and kind of excited about doing his job and looks pretty relaxed. And anyway, he's coming along real great. He's got lots of potential and we're pretty excited about him. So we're gonna keep him going.
Okay, well, good morning. We have sent a couple of trucks already this morning and now we're down in a different pasture uh, putting a couple of more loads in this morning. So we're gathering cows out of a little section that we uh, stuck them in last week. So anyway, that's what we're doing this morning. been going for about 25 minutes. They're driving me crazy. I don't think I've ever seen bulls fight for this long. <laughs> Check out that old tree. All right, last cows on the truck for this pasture. Got two more loads tomorrow. So hopefully everything goes good.
right, well, that's a wrap on the week. And wow, what a week it was. Uh, about 10 semi loads of cows and a trailer load of cows. And uh, it was uh, just, I'm just really thankful that it all came together and that we made it. And uh, for the most part, things went relatively smooth. So I'm glad to be on the mountain as well. So from here on out, things will be a little bit different because it's we now move fully into summer work and summer work's a little bit different than winter work. So I'll definitely miss the desert. So sometimes it's hard to say goodbye to the desert, but it's also good because the gnats are coming out and it's hot and uh, we're ready for a little bit of a change. But I will be glad to get back to the desert next uh, fall. Uh, it's just such a beautiful and unique place and I love riding down there. So, but I'm also going to enjoy the mountain and the cows are going to enjoy the mountain. They're ready for some fresh green grass and some cool weather and stuff. Uh, anyway, just want to give a special thanks to all of our friends and family that help and, and make all this possible. Boy, they're just good people and without good people, there's no way that we could get this stuff done. And it takes a lot, a lot of work. And sometimes these videos, you know, they're 20 minutes long and it captures a full week worth of, of countless hours and effort. And uh, so um, it, sometimes maybe it looks a little easier than it is. So I'm really thankful for, for, for good people. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next week.